This story is about Ali the camel and Hasan the horse and their journey together through the desert. Let's meet Ali the camel and see what happens when he met Hasan the horse. Once upon a time in a small village lived an Arab man with his loyal camel named Ali. The Arab loved his camel Ali. Camel was his only means of transportation. He used Ali to travel long distances across the vast desert to trade goods and visit neighboring towns. One day, the Arab decided to buy a horse, hoping that it would make his travels more easier and comfortable. Arab bought a horse and named him Hassan. Ali was happy to see Hassan. He thought he will not be alone now. He has a new friend. He welcomed Hassan. But Ali was wrong. Hassan would always make fun of Ali for his hump, his long legs, broad feet and his funny eyes. <laughs> oh, you look so funny with that hump. And the way you walk with those long legs and broad feet and your eyes. <laughs> you are funny Ali. Look at me. I'm so good looking, strong and fast. Ali was hurt by his words but decided to ignore him and continue doing his job. One day, the Arab planned to take both the animals on a long journey across the desert. Hassan was so excited and boasted about his strength, speed and how he would easily outrun Ali, thinking he would be the star of the journey. Ali remained quiet, knowing that the desert is his home turf and being a camel, he has special adaptations for desert life that the horse did not have. Soon they started their journey together. Hassan was strong and fast. But as they began to walk across the desert sand, it soon became clear that Hassan was struggling to keep up. The sand was too hot and deep. His hooves sank deep into the sand, making it difficult for Hassan to walk. On the other hand, Ali was perfectly adapted to the desert. He was walking so easily. His long legs and padded feet helped him to move easily through the desert sand without sinking. Soon, Hassan grew tired and thirsty. As they were crossing the hot and dry desert, suddenly a storm begins to blow sand across the desert, making it difficult to see anything. Ali the camel has long and thick eyelashes that will prevent sand from entering his eyes. The hairs in his ears keeps the sand and dust away from his ears and the nostrils that Ali can close to protect them from the blowing sand. With these adaptations for desert life, Ali the camel was walking and running easily through the desert sand. Whereas Hassan the horse had no such adaptations, sandstorm made things more difficult for him. His ears and eyes were filled with blowing sand, making it difficult to see anything. As Ali raced ahead of Hassan, proud Hassan realized his mistake. He did not value Ali the camel and he had been too proud of his looks. Ali told Hassan 
You find me funny because of my hump, but I store fat in my hump, which I use as a source of energy when required. Sandstorm got over, and Ali helped Hassan to cross the desert. Hassan felt ashamed. He went and said sorry to Ali for his behavior. Hassan knew that Ali the camel is the real hero of the journey. Ali was happy that he could prove himself to Hassan and show that looks were not everything. And as for Hassan, he learned an important lesson that every creature have their own strength and weaknesses it is essential to respect and appreciate each other from that day on ali and hasan became best of friends and traveled together respecting each other so this was the story of ali the camel and hasan the horse and their journey together through the desert So now you know the importance of camels in deserts and also that camels have a number of adaptations to help them survive in the hot and dry desert conditions Camels can travel long distances and go without food and water for months The energy rich fat stored in their humps helps them to survive long periods without food Camels have long legs to keep the body away from the heat of the sand. Their large padded feet help them to move easily on the sand without sinking. Camels have long and thick eyelashes which protect the eyes from the sand during a sandstorm in the desert. They can close and open their nostrils. which helps them prevent sand entering their nose their ears are covered with hairs that helps to keep the sand and dust out of the camel's ears their thick mouth and lips help them eat thorny plants of the desert camels are the only means of transportation in the desert areas so the camels are popularly known as the shape of the desert remember it's fun to learn so keep learning